Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you a little trick. Uh, I'm here in Giza, as you can see, the pyramid in Egypt. And you're only allowed to go from 10 to 4 in the pyramid. So there's no way to get sunset or sunrise. So the question is, how are we going to do to make this really interesting, like fine art photography, when you have boring lights and you cannot shoot at sunrise or sunset? Let's do it. <laughs> we're going to do this. The first thing is you need to get the best possible wall file and I'm going to shoot it on three things. I'm going to shoot it on the Fuji 100S, the best camera on the planet for landscape, 102 million pixel. I'm going to shoot it on this S22 Samsung that just came out, which is crazy. It's 104 million pixel on a phone and then I'm going to shoot it with my good old iPhone 13. Now it's kind of like old. Now the first thing that I do is I always underexpose my photo because I want to get the texture in the sky. The texture in the sky is what is going to make this from boring to amazing. So, like for example, right now I'm shooting at 100 ISO, always 100 ISO, even on the phone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot manual on the phone, 7.1 and 400 of a second. 400 of a second is gonna give me an underexposed photo. It looks a bit dark when you shoot it, but it's for finite reasons. I don't know what I'm gonna do at the end. If you still till the end, you gotta find out. I am gonna make it black and white, I'm gonna try to make it good as a color, I'm gonna try to ch change the sky, we don't know. What I do know is that if you stay till the end of the video, you'll find out, and that's cool. So I think I found my photo. I, I got a camel to come here. So that's gonna be my full round. And middle ground, I'm gonna make sure that I'm like at least like F7 or 8 so that everything is sharp. I'm gonna focus on the pyramids. Uh, and I have some texture. This is going to be the shot, guys. I think so. Okay, I'm back in my studio and let's look at the photos together. Now, you can, for a limited time only, get for free my latest book, Photoshop and Lightroom Secrets 2022. This is mostly about Photoshop and how to use Photoshop, how to do sky replacement, how to use the new neural filters where you can just click and in one click you can retouch the skin, you can turn a black and white photo into a color, you can turn a photo into a painting, so many things. Just watch the masterclass I go with it. The link is right under this video. It's about a one hour masterclass on how to achieve natural drama, where I'm gonna reveal three secrets. You know, how to capture the best raw files possible, how to compose your photo better, and, not, and how not to over retouch your photo. So if you watch the class at the end, you're gonna get the book for free. The link is under this video. All right, so here I am in this first part, we're only gonna tackle the GFX 100 photo. So this is the first photo that I got that I was like, I didn't really like the composition because I don't know, the pyramids look very much apart. Uh, so I tried to move around, try to move around, try to get closer, zoom in. And, um, and then that's when I took the camel to uh, actually get on the side because I really wanted to get these three small pyramids as um, a foreground element. And then I had the idea of having a camel in front because I had a camel. Uh, we were with a whole bunch of friends. So usually what I do when I have like three, four photos that I kind of like that are very similar, I just select them and I press N on the keyboard and shift tab to go in full screen mode. And let's see which one am I gonna retouch. Um, I think, you see this one, this one the camel is too big and, uh, I can, and the pyramids are too big. I kind of like more uh, this perspective here. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Um, Yo, maybe this one is kind of cool. I like his head position. Okay, so I'm going to give a two star to this one and that's the one I'm going to be retouching. I really like this one also from uh, my buddies that was with me, but I'm going to retouch this one for now. And first I'm going to try to make it as best as possible in colors. I really want to make like a fine art photography that you can you know, print and put into your living room. So let's jump over to the develop module. First I'm going to make it color and uh, 
and then I think I'm going to make it black and white and then I'm going to go crazy in part two where I'm going to do scary placement. I'm going to change the side of the camel and everything, but that's part two. So right now I'm just going to open the shadows a little bit. Yes. And I'm going to bring down the highlights. I love that I had a bit of texture and then I'm going to do my black point. Now the black point is very important. You want to go from really dark black to uh, white. So I'm going to hold on the option key and I'm going to go here until I see about one or two percent of darkness. Yeah, I'm going to eyeball it. So what you see here in yellow and red and blue is pure black. OK, you want that. OK, now I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go with the white, but the white I just eyeball it myself. Um, I don't use the option key on this one. It's by the way, it's the option key on Mac and the alt key on Windows. All right. Then I'm going to add some contrast because why not? And then I'm going to lower a little bit uh, the exposure maybe. OK, now let's look at the white balance. What can we do about the white balance? I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, daylight. Ah, you see, as shot is what the camera decided. I think I'm going to stay with as shot of the white balance. I do want to make uh, the photo more cinema. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to 16 by 9. And I'm going to uh, maybe zoom in a little bit like that. I mean, this is a GFX 100. So I look how many pixel I got. I still got like uh, 11,000 pixel, which is crazy. And look how sharp this is here and here. Let's go to 100 to show you. Like, look at this. The camel is fully sharp. The pyramids are fully sharp. Uh, it's really cool. OK, cool. So now um, let's do something about the sky. So I'm going to do a double sky. Um, linear gradients. I'm going to take the linear gradient. I'm going to lower the exposure and lower the blue and I'm going to click and drag for the for the whole sky. I kind of like that and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go plus linear gradient and I'm going to click and drag for the very top of the sky to make the very top of the sky a little darker like that. So we have a two gradients in the sky. Maybe it's a bit too much and I'm going to do the same thing here for uh, the bottom. I want to focus the eyes of the people inside of the photo. So I'm going to click here plus linear gradient, click and drag. I'm going to lower the exposure. You see, so now it gets the eyes of the viewer inside. OK, now the sun was setting it was actually getting late. We I on purpose went there right as they were closing because the sunset was at five and the golden hour, the golden hour was at five and it was really starting to be the golden hour. So I'm going to see if I can fake it and add a bit more golden hour for that. I'm going to go here again. I love these local tools. I'm going to take a radial gradient. I'm going to make a big radial gradient and add just a bit of yellow and put it all the way here. So just we have a hint of yellow there, not too much. You just want to have a little bit. OK, now I find the camel to be a little too dark. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go plus. I'm going to take a brush and the brush. Make sure the flowing density is in the 70s because if the flowing density is in the 100, when you and let me overdo it when you're going to brush it's going to be very visible okay but if you put let me do it again if you put the brush sorry uh like flowing density in the 60 and i had a bit of exposure it's going to be less visible so what i want to do is i want to go here on the camel i want to brush some details on this gentleman here look at this beautiful camel isn't that i love animals this one is really stunning OK, so I'm going to you see what you see in red is where I'm brushing. Uh, I've got low flow in density. I'm just going to add a bit of exposure just to make him pop a little bit. Maybe here also just to make him pop a little more, adding a little more details in the camel. So you can see you can go here and you can see before and after the brush. You can see before and after that little sun thing. You can see before and after the gradient here on the bottom. I actually don't really like this new interface, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that was uh, Adobe's decision. I want to see if I can do something better about the sky. So I'm going to go and use this new feature, which I love, which is going here and select the sky. So I'm going to select the sky. You see the sky is not selected. And what can I do? Maybe, maybe I add a bit of more contrast in the sky. So I don't like using clarity in the sky. I do not like to do that. Maybe a little bit of dehaze. Ooh, too, way too much. Yes, is so powerful. Just a little tad. OK, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Let's see the before. I think this now the sky is a little too strong. 
So I'm going to go back here in my sky. I'm going to take out the, a little bit of blue. And voila. So that's one option. Shift tab. Uh, backslash key to see the before and after. That's one option. But it's not fine art enough for me. So what, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a virtual copy. And I always do that. I have a saying that if the colors are not amazing, try to go black and white. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take what we've done so far. I'm going to go black and white. Ooh, that's not so bad. It's already pretty cool, but the sky is not dark enough. So first thing when I go black and white, I go to the black and white mix. I take this beautiful tool, which is the targeted tool, and I'm going to click on the blue sky and see if I can make it darker. You see? And so that I'm style. What it's doing, it's taking the blue and making them darker. Now make sure you don't overdo it. I usually try to not go like over 50. Okay, so that's good. It just makes the sky darker. All right, now I think the photo is way too bright. So I'm going to lower a little bit for black and white. I really want to make a dramatic black and white. Okay, now remember I did some gradients. So I can just go in there in the gradients and I, I can adapt them because black and white, you can go a lot stronger. I'm going to make this darker here. Okay, and then I'm going to make the very top of the sky here even darker. All right. I think I want to crush my blacks even more. I want to boost my white. I like to add contrast in my black and white. It's already pretty cool. Now I want to do some dodge and burning even more. I want to, when I do black and white, I want to focus the eyes of the tiger inside of the photo. I mean the eyes of the spectator, of the viewer. So I'm going to go here, add a radial gradient, a big radial gradient, and add some lights to it just to focus to pretend that it was brighter there. Don't overdo it. And I'll give you a trick. Usually I try not to go over one. So let's go 0 0.7. And um, you see, this is way too visible to me. I can see it's too visible. So here's the trick. So what you do is you retouch the photo, you do your dodge and burn, and then the next day you look at it. And if you instantly see the dodge and burn, you know you've gone too far. But if you're like, have a love, did I dodge and burn that photo or not? You know you've not gone too far. So I know I've gone too far. So I'm going to lower that. But check this out, making a little white circle here just gets you inside of the photo, all right? And um, voila, I think I love that. I think I'm going to add a bit of clarity on, on, the, on the whole photo. Or maybe not. Maybe not clarity. Um, a bit of texture maybe. And I think I want to go a little more contrasty. For black and white, I like to really go contrasty like that. Okay, cool. So let's see. That's the black and white. And that's the color version. I definitely like the black and white more. I don't like the color version so much. Um, now, in part two, I'm going to show you something crazy, how I'm going to replace the sky, how I'm going to make the camel a little smaller. Don't forget to get the Photoshop and Lightroom Secrets 2022, the book. The link is under the video. It's a one hour class. At the end, you're going to get the book for free, 164 pages. It's a beautiful book. And it's really mostly on how to easily use Photoshop. So check the link down below and come and see me for part two of this beautiful adventure in Cairo. And let's make the pyramid even crazier in part two. The link is going to be on this video as soon as it comes out.